these techniques are not optimal in every situation. They are alternative options you might not have known. Use them to expand your toolkit. Versus character that has slow fireballs, if you do heavy cyclone, you'll put up a wall in front of you. You just gotta make sure not to do it too early. Because if you do it too early or roll too early, you will get hit. But if you do the wall and then roll, you will stop it. This every character can do, so find out with your character how you can get out of the situation. If Aki is trying to chip you out, that your drive gauge is low. Just another situation that she can do. This, every character can do. Um, all you have to do is right after the block, do a five frame when you drive rush. If she pops the bubble. This is unique because Akuma's hurt box expand when he does the fireball. Your character might have a situation like this. This is just what she's answered for that situation. So I found out that standing hard kick is pretty good against air fireball. You'll trade, you trade, you can do a trade combo. Or you will outright beat it depending on when you hit. And you can do a heavy mixer on trade or hit. Versus Blanca, medium mixer I found out is pretty good. You don't have to wait for him to get to you. And then I found out you can air grab him, which is crazy. So I'm not really sure if other characters can do the same. You can do a hard kick or crotch medium punch versus that ball. Right here, depending on spaces, you can do standing medium punch. Or you can do air grab because her hurt box extends when she does dive kick. If you do it too close, you won't be able to do it. But if you have a little bit of space and she does it, you can grab her. Right here, I'm faking a fireball to see what options I have. If I fake one, she does one after my first fireball she blocks. Shot. If she try to bait you your anti-air, you can do medium mixer and still punish her. Right here after hard kick, you cross your medium punch. You'll beat her air option and her fright, her spacing trap lock. I don't know how that works mid screen. This is just something I'm working on. If she back rises. She can't go through your whirlwind shot, be it EX or standard. Right here, same as Aki. Hard Cyclone. Forward and hard kick versus Hazanshu. You'll get a punish counter. The Hazanshu will never hit you if you're doing forward and hard kick. Early enough. Right here, anytime Dawson do an air teleport, you can jump back and air grab. For a medium punch, drive rush for hard kick, plus 13. Most DJs try to throw double fireball because they think you're about to throw another fireball, but you can do light cyclone instead. Be plus in their face. Crouch a medium punch for their bazooka knee. All right here, I'm starting running right after they block the fireball. This is unique because you can do this 
and still get a punish counter with the recovery on his double fireballs. Versus Ed, if he try to whiff this, you can do steady hard kick. Also, versus his snatcher, you can do light cyclone into roll from frames five through 30, I believe. He has upper body invincibility. And then with a nail assault, the kick is from frames one to 19. I learned this from Gallup. After you do medium either spike, dash, neutral jump, you beat his DP option. Your character might have something simpler. Versus E Honda. Most E Honda start off with butt slam. You can just jump back and air grab that and be plus in their face. They do it in the corner, jump out of the corner and do air grab. You'll put them in the corner. Or you can do heavy mixer. This is just something I'm working with on Gal. It's not a safe jump, but Gal throws itself out of the corner. And this is instant. Maybe if she, he does it later, it can be a safe jump or he'll hit you. Just something I'm working on. Versus JP, this is a theory as well. Depending on the JP. There's a lot of recovery when he snaps his finger. Still. <laughs> Alright. So versus Jamie. I found out Ford and and medium punch or light mixer. Light mixer works versus anybody who does dry rush at a certain distance. I've been using that a lot more lately. Versus dive kicks, I do medium mixer. This is just something wonky. Alright, versus jury, you can do forward and hard kick go over her fireball and punish counter her if you get the read you can also do light eagle spike for punish counter this is surprising if you catch them off guard with this yeah Alright, versus Ken, you can do a delayed, every character can do this, delayed button, um, versus his light Jinrai. So I usually, for a delayed button, I usually um, tap down back and then do the button. And if he does the medium one, you can do EX or your level one or level three I've been using medium mixer versus his kick I've been holding down back kind of like a charge character so I can have access to crouching medium punch medium mixer or heavy mixer I'm neutral jumping and using medium I mean light mixer versus Kimberly crouch a medium punch versus her teleport also you can use light mixer when she comes in which you know they do and you still get a combo knock them in the corner versus Lily um, you have a slightly disjointed hit hitbox on your medium punch You can also do medium mixer. Oh, 
also do this. I caught a Lily by surprise with this. In game versus Luke. He can't do anything about if he's gonna do punch, he can't do anything about you flipping out. Perfect punch, you can get a punish, as you see. Every character can jump back when Luke does this. Speeds a lot of his options. Sometimes he'll try to level three. If you try to do anything else. Versus Bison. A lot of Bisons uh, do EX. The tornado. But if you knock him down with medium eagle spike, you can jump back after you do level two. And he have an enhanced jump back, putting him right out of range for Bison's Psycho Crush. Then you get interesting combos. You can also backdash after the tornado. You'll see that shortly. Ooh. So now we can backdash also after you do medium eagle spike. When you do that, instead of jumping back, you'll backdash again for a enhanced backdash, hitting you out of range. These are just some more combos you can do. So a backdash, backdash, put it back in the corner for the kill. This is just something I'm testing out. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing it in a match until you test it out further or until I test it out further. Versus Manon, she got that uh, good medium punch. You can do four medium punch to punish her. There's a lot of recovery on it. I did not know that until I did this video. So in this technique, I'm walking forward and parrying, putting me in range to punish her because she's negative nine. With Marissa, you can do a flip. You don't, I wouldn't suggest it depending on your range. But if you want to get out the corner, you can do it. You can also do your heavy or medium mixers. This is my favorite when I played Marissa. I caught a Marissa and match doing this too. Right after I did the video. Nice. Versus Rasheed, this is not a thing all the time, but you can surprise a Rasheed with it. I can't tell you how many Rashids I hit with that. And as a Rashid player, watch out with your whirlwind shots. So when Zangus do flip kick, most of the time you can't punish him, Rashid. But if you parry at the last minute, it puts him in range. Love this. All right, this is a technique I learned from Gallant. So after a hard eagle spike, you can dash and jump, or dash and neutral jump, and you'll beat his um, lariat options. Every character can do this. Dry rush, to call out the crouching hard kick. You get a punish counter. I found out after medium kick, I do light. And I still did hard kick. It's just he tried to catch me on the way down, but could. Thank you for tuning in to the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please hit me down below. And if you want me to do your character to unlock their ultimate potential, just let me know. Get stronger. Mind, body, and spirit. Peace.